Welcome back to another episode, and today we're going to talk about video game t-shirts. Because I think the show has become a little infamous for our, our video game t-shirts that we wear. And we actually thought we'd actually explain a lot of where we get our shirts from. And you actually might be surprised how cheap it is to get certain video game t-shirts. And we're going to give you a lot of clues on how to do that, and a lot of how to make your own shirts. This is what we've done for years as well, which oh, is yeah. really ridiculous, so. You oh, have a pile that I get a pile of here, yeah. we can kind of talk about this stuff. Alright, well I'm going to do a bit of a quick history lesson if that's okay, just yeah. to sort of run through sort of the history of video gaming t-shirts. Um, really in the beginning, before video gaming became mainstream, like PS1 era, one of the biggest places to get them was pre-ordering games, starting with, uh, most folks who are old school remember this, the original Final Fantasy VII t-shirt that were pre-orderable almost anywhere when the game was going to be released. Yeah. And I actually remember you going to like four different stores and putting down your five dollars at each store just to get four of these shirts. Yeah, you could feel like it was like five dollars a shirt, like in the end yeah. of the day for, for pre-ordering. So when they actually said, hey, your, your copies, and I'm like, no, I already got it, thank you. I'll keep the shirt. <laughs> you know? And you know what's so funny is that there was no video game shirts to be bought back then. No. So, I actually wore those shirts till they had holes in them. Yeah, till they fell apart. You know what? It was like I, I felt so good wearing my Final Fantasy VII shirt back then. I was like, I overwore it. It had huge holes. I'm like, it's still good. But you know, like yeah, it, it wore itself out on me for oh, sure. Yeah. Well, I used to work at EB Games, and so I used yeah. to get those t-shirts as a staff member, and yeah. I had buckets of them. I mean, like, well, when Evolution came out on the Dreamcast, which I love, I know some people aren't as fond, but, I, you know, that was another one of the pre-order shirts. I had the shirt, too. And, and actually, I didn't it, like the, do you know, that's a funny thing. I didn't like the game too much, but yeah, I, I, I love, love the shirt. The shirt. And, yeah. and it even has a nice little Sega Dreamcast logo on the yeah. sleeve, which I love, you know? And even to more recent times, Castlevania, uh, Lords of Shadow, and it had the skull on the front of uh, Gabriel's armor, and on the back, it has the battle cross. Nice. So pre-orders, the original, and still sort of the way. That's to get a good way to get shirts. shirts yeah. You know, absolutely. When when the mainstream started to hit yeah. uh, for video gaming, certain retail outlets like Blue Notes would get, you know, the the very very like you know. And the hot topics. Yeah. Right. Nintendo controller, keep it real, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And my brother found this one for me in Japan, but it's really neat. It's got the uh, River City Ransom, the sprite work on it. That's awesome. Which I absolutely love. Yeah. But aside from, you know, retail stores, which is, it's become somewhat popular. You can, you can walk into Walmart now and, and buy find, yeah. Yeah, anything. Please. But yeah. online is an excellent resource as well, where you can actually find some very uh, well-priced ones. And I think that's what, what that, you've that's got That's what I want to about. talk about. Because people will say to me, oh my God, how do you afford all the video game shirts? I actually, there's actually some sites out there that sell video game shirts for like $11 a yeah. pop. I will put some links in below for you guys. I'm not affiliated with these guys. I just personally like the products. I buy them myself. The Yeti.com and Tfury.com is another one I just found as well. Like, look at this. Look at this. I went to Disneyland. I'm so my, jealous of this one. I went to here. Disneyland for my honeymoon. And so many people came up to me. That, you know, I didn't even have a clue who they were, and they loved this shirt. That's oh my awesome. god, that's the awesomest shirt ever! And I'm like, yeah, it's only 11 bucks. You know what I mean? So you don't have to spend a lot of money no. for video game shirts. You know, you can actually do it for quite the cheap price. And before we could even afford video game shirts, we did something else. And Rob was a master of this. <laughs> and I remember for uh, we used to be, you know, as you guys know, we're big Street Fighter Alpha players. Rob came over for one of my birthdays years ago and he'd made me this this shirt, the Street Fighter Alpha shirt, uh, with a you know chibi Ken on there kind of thing going on. Yeah, and I used and to have one with a Ryu on it. Yeah. So exactly. that we could have our classic our battle. battle. Now that's where you gotta explain how you actually okay. do do, now, do do these. Th and these were quite the challenge. Uh, you can buy in some sort of craft shops. I know in Canada we have London Drugs. You can find them in the computer section. They're called dark t-shirt transfers. You can print them on your computer with any printer, any color printer, and it's this thick transfer material, and then you peel off the back, and you place it on the shirt, and you put this paper over it, and you iron it on. However, when I did these, I cut it out, and I take a pair of scissors, and I very carefully 
cut around. So my wife does Photoshop, she'd enlarge the picture or get it just right and set it up and kind of color balance it. And then I just painstakingly cut all the way around Crazy. all of this with a pair of scissors, yeah. really carefully. And, and to make a really unique, one of yes. a kind, sure. And these are awesome, I love these. I, I have a couple more that I made back in there. My, my wife again for the artwork, and she did this one for me, which I love. It's a, a Rob Man Dash. So it's, it's me as Mega Man Volnut, and she actually changed the lettering at the bottom, right here where it says. It actually says Rob Man in Japanese there. She changed the lettering for me to say Rob Man Dash. That's a one of a kind. Which is a one of a kind. I've never actually done anything else. I've just this one, and I love it. I love that's that That's really shirt. cool. Uh, Rob's done some crazy ass things. And, and the other one that yeah. I'm gonna show, that's one that I made myself, and it's, it just shows the obsession with, with uh, Dragon Quest and with slimes, and I found the three metal slimes and I, I had to cut out every single one of these little bubbles on the liquid slime there. Huh. Uh, like around yeah, the crown yeah, 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 and course. everything. I had to place them. I had to look at the picture as reference and place them just right. Yeah. My metal slime shirt. This is one of my favorites. And I, I only ever hand wash. Now, if you make these. That's the problem with them. Yeah. Hand wash in cold water and hang them to dry. Yeah. Otherwise, my Ryu, unfortunately, went through the wash. And now it's just a white silhouette. <laughs> of course. <laughs> There's nothing left. So be very careful with them. I mean, they're pretty, they'll survive a few washes, yeah. but if you want to keep them like this, cold water hand wash. People have asked me about my Rob Man shirts that are like this. Now this is a t-shirt that I had made on a website where you can submit your artwork and put them up and people can buy them if they want or what have you. And so they will take your image and they will print it on in a higher quality. Um, but they're fairly expensive. It was like 25, 30 bucks to yeah, get this made for me. Yeah. But you know, that one was one that I wanted to have, you know, for Yeah, fun. you got your own custom made, yeah, nice shirt, custom right? made stuff. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, honestly, dark t-shirt transfers, make sure they're for dark fabric, because there's a difference. There's one's only for white t-shirts and some for dark. Dark t-shirt transfers, get your artwork, print it up, cut it out, and you can iron it on and you can make so many, that's where so many of mine came from. I even did hoodies. Uh, like gaming hoodies this are popular. Ridiculous. Look at this. I made this one for myself, Mega Man and Proto Man. And you got the hood up there, and I cut those out and printed them up nice and big. And nice. you know, I love wearing this one. I get a lot of compliments on this yeah, one in public. Yeah, all made by yourself, but entirely by myself. And yeah. the other one that I've made by myself that I really love. This is a goodie. This like is this classic Bomberman. Look at that. So That's you've got your your Bomberman that are ready to go into battle mode. Just yeah. love. Love these. That's really, really good. Um, yeah, that's why you had to do an episode on this because some of the work that you've done on these is like so extraordinary. Well, and that's the thing because people say, well, where do you get all these? A lot of my shirts I make. Yeah, you can make them. And I, I yeah. love it because, you know, then you can customize it and tweak it. And if you have a wife that's really good at Photoshop, or you're good at Photoshop yourself. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, how about me, you get, because you know, I'm a lazy, yeah. I'm a lazy butt. Yeah. You can't do a thing with it, but yeah. you know, um, then it, it helps if you're good at Photoshop. Then man, yeah, yeah. do them up, iron them on, and I have one other shirt to show off, and it's a bit of a, a special one. We, this is yeah. very special. We have to go into the other room for this because yes. yeah, we actually need a bit of room. So what do we have here? Now this, <clears throat> this is the surprise that I had for everyone. This is a very limited edition. Uh, Mega Man hoodie by uh, Punk Drunkers. It's a fashion company from Japan. And so they did a, uh, a collaboration with Capcom and they made this very limited run of hoodies. And I love this thing. I can't believe it. My brother hooked me up big time and managed to get me one. And it's got the Punk Rock Band logo right there on the front. Yeah. Super awesome. The pockets have the E-Tank, but it's got a letter P on it for Punk Drunkers. It's got an embroidered Mega Man right down there on yeah. the lower back. Yeah. Okay, the hood is awesome. I love it because it's got the actual earpiece. That is ridiculous. Got <laughs> the headpiece on it. But that's not the best part. The best part is this. Right here, see the sleeve? Grab the edge, and pop your hand through, and you have a Mega Buster. That is insane. That is silly. awesome. That I is love so it. Cool. So I had to have one. My brother hooked me up. They sold out, they had them in the blue colors, the traditional Mega Man blue, and those sold out in five minutes. Wow. But my brother was able to get me a size that will fit me from Japan uh, in the black and gray, which is still awesome. And these are so cool. I, I love have to this. Zoom in on this. Yeah, I have to do a zoom in on this. How does this work? It's so so you've got this little sort of a, a slit right here. Yeah. You grab the sleeve yeah. and you pull your hand inside and you pull on that. Oh, and it tucks underneath Yeah. in there. Yeah. You got your Mega Buster. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is that? That is the coolest thing ever. And then you can just pull the inside, tuck your sleeve back out, back to normal mode. All right.
So guys, we just want to share some of the ways that we get video game t-shirts, we make video game t-shirts, we can keep the cost down. You can also go to eBay, obviously. Type in any video game company or idea that you ever have on eBay and write shirt beside it. Somebody's made a shirt, it's guaranteed. Yeah. So, but if you want to keep the cost down, make it yourself, or go to one of these sites that actually puts up a, an image once a day, like the Yeti or yeah. uh, T-Fury, that are one of a kind designs for only yeah. 11 bucks. That's also a, a great alternative. So, anyways guys, until next time.